Hey, what's going on people? This is your boy Theo and this is a real talk. So I'm here because I wanted to to talk about the um the the protest that's going down in London, the anti vaccine, anti lockdown protest that's going down um right now and um and yeah I'm just a bit um perplexed as to why they decided to descend on the Westfield Shopping Centre in Stratford, right? I don't get it. I really, really, really don't get it. The shops are open. The restaurants are open. The pubs are open. The cinemas are open. The theatres are open. You know, we can actually hug our loved ones now. What? is the point of all of this it is pointless right it is utterly utterly pointless and i just i just can't understand how people can actually think that you know they just want their, their freedoms now they they people i tell you what this is people don't like to be told what to do that's a fact they don't like to be told what to do and how to live their lives and I'm not here to try and say to them, like, I, I don't want to tell people to how to live their lives. I'm just simply saying that you're protesting something, right, in which we've begun unlocking, unlocking places, right? And you're talking about wanting to have a full um, um, restriction easing as soon as possible. That doesn't make any sense. We're in this for a reason, right? We have to roll with the punches. It's like, it's a bit of a slap in the face to all those people who have to sacrifice, all those people who have lost their lives, who have lost loved ones. What do you expect? That, that, that you just think that, so, okay, I don't really care about them. That's what you're saying. I don't really care about them. I just care about me. I want my freedom. I want, I want to have my life back. I want to be able to travel. Or I want to be able to do this. I want to be able to do that. Right? There's rules and restrictions in place for a reason. And that reason is to stop the spread of this virus. You may think that this virus is not real, but it is real. I've seen it firsthand. I've seen patients on ventilators, right? I've known people that's, that, that actually got COVID, right? And this thing is just no joke. I've seen I've seen and read about um people who are in good health ended up getting covid. It's fact. You don't need to listen to me and that's fine. That's fine. I can live with not being listened to. But I'll tell you something. The way that you guys are going about this is all wrong from where I'm standing because now the Westfield Shopping Centre has ceased all trading. Um, and now it's chaotic in there. And I'm not even there to even tell you how bad it is. I can look by the pictures and and, uh, and everything on social media right now. Even I can say, yeah, that looks really, really, really bad. It looks really, really bad. And I'm sorry how you feel at this moment in time. Just having another day in which we're living in this way. We're all in the same boat here, right? And, and yeah, we're trying now to just get back to normal. That's all we want. We want to get back to normal. We want to be able to go and, uh, uh, go and live our lives. We want to be able to do all of that stuff. But until June the 21st, because I was actually going to make a video to say, like, um, if we're going to make it to June 21st with the Indian variant going on, um, is it possible that it could be delayed? According to Boris Johnson, he said that there's nothing in the data that suggests that um, that there is no deviation from that. However, with what I've seen today... It's possible. It is possible. But we don't know yet. Look, we want to be able to live our lives, but this is just not the this is not the way. This is not how you go about it. I'm being real with you guys. 
like I love my job enough, right, to go get myself vaccinated. I would be so horrified if I've given the virus to other people, knowing that they can potentially die from it. If I if I actually caught COVID myself, I went ahead and got myself tested. I, I've done a I've done um I've done tests. Um, I wanted to protect myself in the best way possible. I wear my mask everywhere I go. Come on, man. Like, I don't understand what, what the point is uh, to all of this protesting. It's not like it's not going to get the government to, to stand up and listen. Right. They heard you. Don't get me wrong. They have heard you. But they're not going to deviate from 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 the plan. The plan's working. The vaccine rollout has been great. Like, even if you don't want to take the vaccine and everything else, just please respect others right now. I don't think people have done that. They're just out for for looking after themselves, and and this is what kind of annoys me about. <clears throat> this is what annoys me about society. Just looking after number one, dog eat dog, doesn't care who, who gets stepped on. We're all in the same boat, as I said. I just don't get it. Anyways, you're probably gonna dislike this video, and I get that. But if you do like this video, like it anyway. Subscribe um, and comment below, but I know you're going to be able to tell me that I'm an idiot and I don't know what I'm talking about. And you're probably going to drop me facts and everything else. And guess what? Those facts are probably going to be deleted because I'm not going to spread misinformation. I'm bringing this to you real as I can possibly be on this channel, right? I'm giving you the facts. I'm telling you how it is. I love my job. I'm an NHS worker. I work on the front line. I'm telling you for a fact what I know, right? And what I can tell you, for, what I can tell you, what I can, what I can say without going too much into detail, right? But I'm telling you the bare bones of this is facts. We are, um, we are trying to get back into some sort of more normality. The cases have come down. Yes, there's cases about, and yes, there's still deaths. Um, but the, the, but ultimately, we have actually worked hard to get into the stage that we're in now. I just don't want it. I just don't want this to be blown over because of people who don't believe in what we're doing. Even if you don't believe in what you, even if you don't believe me, or if you don't believe in what's going out there. The least thing you can do is just stay quiet. Because if you ain't got nothing nice to say, don't say nothing at all. Just do your own thing and that's it. Keep it pushing. I just wanted to make that clear. All right. So like, share, subscribe. It is what it is. Um, my name's Theo. Thanks for watching. I'm out. Peace.